Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, this is a pretty important one for you guys. Uh, apps are using background app refresh to send data to tracking companies. So if you guys have not watched my, I've got like two videos going over the best things to do when you get a new phone and also some battery saving tips and tricks. And in both of those videos, I urged you guys to please turn off background app refresh. There's really no need for it. Well, alas, today security researchers have found that um, while these apps are supposedly, you know, background app refreshing, uh, if we're going to use that as a verb, they are actually sending data to tracking companies in the background and you don't even know about it. So you're not even using the app. It's just, you know, in the background uh, and it's sending data. So obviously this is a huge, huge issue, at least for me. My background is in security. So th this really caught my eye. But you guys can see right here on a recent Monday night, a dozen marketing companies, research firms, and other personal data guzzlers got reports from my iPhone. At 11.43 p.m., a company called Amplitude learned my phone number, email, and exact location. At 3.58 a.m., another called Appboy got a digital fingerprint of my phone. At 6.25 a.m., a tracker called Demdex received a way to identify my phone and sent back a list of other trackers to pair it up with. We live in an age where everything is tracked, right? And the best thing we can do, guys, is to just try to contain the amount of data we give these companies. And a lot of these are not even useful. Like, they're just using it to target ads at you and get you to buy their shit. Who knows what else they're doing? You don't even know what their policies are necessarily because they're doing this behind your back. And worst of all, it's even using gigabytes of your own data plan. Um, so this used 1.5 gigabytes over the course of a month. That's what they extrapolated the data to be. Some people have said it used five gigs of data in you know a week with the Weather Channel app, for example, that they never used. It just does this in the background. So here's some of the apps that were found passing along the data. Microsoft OneDrive, obviously, if you use a Microsoft product, uh, you are the product. Uh, Mint, Nike, Spotify, the Weather Channel, DoorDash, Yelp, Citizen, and even the Washington Post own app. All sending this data to and from, and you guys seriously do not want this to happen. So how to answer something that I always get questions on. People ask me, hey, if I turn off background app refresh, how am I gonna get my push notifications? Quite simple. They're completely separate systems, guys. If you turn off background app refresh, you still get push notifications. This has nothing to do with that. There's no need to worry about that. Don't even think like that. They're separate completely. Background app refresh really just refreshes the apps in the background, so when you click on it again, it's ready and up for you, you know? But who really needs that? It takes like less than half a second to just do that when you open the app. I kill all the apps in the background constantly on my phone. I know they say you don't need to do that, but I do it anyway. And I also keep this off. So I highly recommend you guys turn it off as well. Really no point in having this on. Now these apps are still gonna track you when you use them. So if you don't want that, just delete them. But at least this will stop them from tracking you when you don't know about it. So hopefully this video helped you out, guys. I'm pretty passionate about this stuff. So if I ever report on something that's security related, you guys know that it's something that I actually really care about. And uh, yeah, hopefully it helped you out. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.